guys, Scott Van Zen here. Welcome to another Lick Talk. Getting into the holidays here. Christmas is in a couple of weeks. Starting to get cold here in Nashville. I don't know where you guys are from. Hopefully it's south and warmer. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about landing notes. Um, you know, I try to look for notes and chords uh, that, that I'm playing in. So if I'm playing uh, in a blues and it's on an A, even though I'm using like a blues scale, I like to land on those. So there's a major third there, you know, and if it goes to D and the E, like I was playing there. That kind of thing, you know. So I just want to show you a couple of, of, of easy ways to go about that. Now when you're practicing stuff you should try and narrow your stuff down to like a, a boxed uh, uh, practice routine. Something that's very simple that's going to stick with your long-term memory. Also re repetition man you got to put something uh, into your memory uh, you know a month, two months for it to be there when you're gonna when you're at a club and there's noise and you're playing and you're it, then you'll, it'll just come up from your unconscious. But if you don't work it a little bit every day, it's not going to be in your long-term memory. So no, no matter what you're doing, you gotta, you got to approach the guitar with a, uh, a, a sensibility of, of long-term goals rather than the, just that lick. If you are learning a lick, do it. it's better to do it 15, 20 minutes a day over the course of a month. Uh, than it is to do it for eight hours in one day because it, it won't stick that way. I know that from uh, <laughs> experience and trying it. It just doesn't work. Um, but so if we're playing like in a, you know, an A chord uh, blues, you know, it's like to a D, that kind of thing. So if I want to represent that major third, which is uh, out of the scale, so Here's your minor blues scale, and we want to add a C sharp. There's one right there on the uh, sixth fret on the G string. There's one on the ninth fret on the E string. There's one on the fourth fret on the A string. So let's just go to the top two strings. Now the top two strings in this minor pentatonic scale are. So if there, there's your notes out of that scale. So if we add the third, it's there. Now, if you if you slide up to the major third, don't slide back down to the minor third. Don't do this because it goes back to a minor fill. You want to you want to represent the chord. So what you do is you pull off to the note, or you can pick it. But just skip that on the way back down. So with a blues uh, scale, just with that, if you're playing, you can hear how that represented that chord a little bit. Now, if we're on our middle two strings, the note would be here. So you could go like. So if like you're going up, see that. So using uh, all four uh, strings there, you know. Now I'm using the blue scale. I'm just landed on the notes of the of the chord. Now with the with the last uh, C sharp, maybe you slide down to it. So it's like you're right there. There's your C sharp. So so using those three notes to to land on. Uh, or it's the same note, but th uh, three octaves of it. So if I'm playing the, the blues. You can hear the chord without the chord being there. That's your goal. You want to be able to represent the notes of the chord uh, without the chord being there. Like if I'm doing something like... Uh, so I'm doing an A, C sharp, to a, a 
D major, D minor, back to an A, to an E. Right, I'm looking to, to represent each of the chords. So what you want to do here is you want to take like a an A, uh, the A and find those notes which I showed you. D, just look for a, a D chord. What note is outside of that blues scale, the minor pentatonic scale? There's a sixth right there in A. It doesn't matter that it's a sixth, but it's a F sharp note. So that's the, the odd note out, two octaves of that. So if we're up top here and we go to a D, There's your F sharp. That represents that note. Uh, it's also here. So uh, F sharp. So if we're on a D, back to the A. All right, so you see what I'm doing here. I'm just pulling the, the, the simple notes out of the chords and, and adding them as landing tones. Uh, look, take your, take your pen and your, your scale, whatever scale you're in, and look for the chords that are around there, the simplest formation. In the, you, you got this A major chord here. So there's that, there's that note. You got a D here. There's the other note, F sharp. And then an E. So there's a, a flat note there. So over the, the e, uh, blues on that, so it's like blues scale. So that's the note that's out of the scale. And that's what you want to do. You want to, you want to take the notes that are uh, in the chord and land on them even if they're out of the scale. All right, but I might, might have, some of you guys are going to get that. Some it's going to be tough. Go back to what I said in the beginning. Just start with one note, adding that C sharp. Take a minor pentatonic scale and record yourself an A. And just let you know, jam to it. Go to two strings, middle two strings, low two strings. Back to the middle two, high one. And you know, you put yourself in the box, and as you go forward, you're going to get more and more ideas. Uh, you want to get things, you want to understand the knowledge of why you're getting it. If you just learn a bunch of licks is great, but understand what you're doing with the licks. So in this case, we're looking for the notes of the chord around the scale. All right, so we're going to end it there today. Uh, you guys have a great weekend. I will see you next week. Uh, hit me up, uh, Van Zinn at scottvanzinnguitarschool.com if you want to get some Skype lessons or if you have any questions. Um, please make sure to go like Scott Van Zinn or subscribe Scott Van Zinn on YouTube. There's like 160 videos up there of playing and some lessons and stuff like that. And, um, and if you haven't gotten my stuff, get it. Uh, you know, it's, um, it's helping a lot of guys. Uh, I took all this and compressed it down. I get more into the intricate technique. These are just licks, but we, we spend time on the techniques and, and, uh, and all that stuff there. All right. I will see you next week for another late talk. Bye.